Hi guys, how are you doing? Um, today I'm going to talk about what is relevant for me at the moment. And I don't know about you guys, but when my house isn't up to my standard of cleanliness, all sorts of stuff goes on. I am uh, unable to think, I feel kind of lazy, um, apathetic, I don't really want to do anything, I lose my focus on the present moment, and almost every time I forget, but then after I hit a certain point of getting frustrated with myself over not being spiritual and present, <laughs> then I remember, oh yeah, I should clean. <laughs> um, what's that saying? Cleanliness is next to godliness? I think, in, I think that's pretty true for me at least. I don't know about you guys, but the way I think of it, our home is like an extension of us. Um, it has a lot to do with our root chakra. Um, whether or not we feel safe, comforted, restful. Um, so when I've noticed for myself, when my apartment is not up to my standards of cleanliness, it just, all sorts of bad crap goes on in my head. I can't focus. It's bad. I, I went over that already. Anyways, um, so turn try to turn cleaning into a spiritual practice. There are lots of people that have talked about it. Um, when you wash dishes, do it mindfully. Imagine that as you're cleaning, whatever you're cleaning, imagine you are clearing away all of the negativity, all of the stuff that no longer serves you. Just clean it away. So as you're cleaning your home, you're also cleaning your inner self. You're getting rid of this negative stuff that accumulates. And yeah, so that's what I'm doing today. I'm going around and picking music that helps me feel uplifted and energized while I go around and clean everything. Um, oh, wiping the mirrors, I think, is a very important part of it. Um, helps us to see ourselves clearly. It's pretty obvious, I guess, but when you wipe all the mirrors and all the windows, get everything clean the way it, the way you like it. Everybody's cleanliness idea is different. <laughs> but that's what I'm doing today. And then after I get everything clean the way I like it, then I will take some sage and go around the apartment, um, smudging every, every little nook and cranny, getting that negative stuff out and building up this positive energy field and while I do that I will say affirmations, prayers, asking for protection, um, keeping negativity out, you know, I'll visualize this sort of golden light filling the space, protecting, comforting us, um, and then I'll light my house blessing candle again and have that in each of the rooms so that I get all that positive energy going. <sighs> so <laughs> I got too excited and made this video before I finished. So I'm going to go and finish cleaning my house so that I can have that clarity and come back to myself without all the little crap floating around, you know? So that's it for today, and I hope you guys are having a great time. And if you are feeling stressed or upset or frustrated and you can't really put your finger on why, take a look around the house and see if it's dirty. And if it is, mindfully clean it, and I bet you'll feel a lot better. So have a great day.